that, Dennis? <laughs> it show is. This is a serious studio. This is a studio on steroids. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to my classic car. Well, this week we're in Colorado Springs to visit Jay Chimino and check out a few of his cars. In fact, I'm surrounded by a bunch of them now. Jay's tastes run the entire gamut from bone stock to the wildest customs you can imagine. And we're gonna to touch on that full range today. So we got a lot of cars to do. Let's get down to business. Jay, great to see you, my friend. <laughs> thank you, Dennis. Great to see you, and thank you for coming. Well, it looks like you pulled out all the stops today, man. We did for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're too good to me, really. <laughs> but man, I mean, you've got such a, an extensive collection and such eclectic tastes. Well, yeah. Some of the cars you'll see here are completely original cars. I have a lot of original cars, but then so there are some of the cars that I have that didn't want to stay original. They just didn't want they to. They just didn't want to, so we changed <laughs> and them And you around. helped them along with that. Yes. But, but you've been into cars your whole life. Yes, I have. And, and it's, it's uh, obviously it's a passion for you. And you know, like I'm surrounded by T-birds here. You're obviously a T-bird guy. I love T-birds. I do too. Yeah. These are the little birds, but you got some of the big birds that I like, the 63s, the 64s. I think they're beautiful cars. Yeah, I had the, yeah, the little birds are here and they're all beautiful cars. Uh, the 63 is a car that's been in my family for, since 1972. The bullet bird, I love yeah, bullet the birds. Bullet bird, the black one. And the 64 I've owned for about 20 years. With the roadster kit. With the roadster oh. kit. And the one behind it, it's only got 17,000 miles of original miles. Another original car. Another, another is a white 64 Thunderbird. Love the car. So you do you do love originality, yeah. but, but you'll also take a little bit of license and update the I power plant and things like that. And then of course, like we said, you go pretty wild and crazy sometimes. But, <laughs> <laughs> no, I take that back. Really wild really, and crazy. Yeah, I do, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but some of the ones that are bone stock original, like the 57 yeah. Bird, but that 55 Caddy, that's a 55, right? 55 Cadillac. That is a stunning car. Let's go look at that one. Yeah, this car is an original car, Dennis. It's got 53,000 miles on it. The original paint, this car was owned by a person who put brand new tires on it. But other than that, everything's original on the car. Like even the interior? Even the interior, everything. Because I mean, that's just a, it's a, it's a gorgeous interior. Gorgeous. It, it looks like it has hardly been sat in. That's right. The back seat probably hasn't been sat in. This car was originally owned by um, the people that actually turned the Royal Gorge from what it was to a tourist attraction. Oh. And they had a lease on the Royal Gorge. And they lived in Texas and they drove this car when it was in Colorado. The rest of the time it was sitting in a warehouse. Oh, wow. Since 1968, there's only been 7,000 miles put on the car. Since 68? Since 68. <laughs> <laughs> so this, you don't take this for groceries and stuff. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> but I do drive around the block. It's a lovely car. Well, so, and they're, they're magnificent drive. They weigh, I don't know, three yeah, tons or I don't know. They're about, really heavy. About five tons, yeah. <laughs> uh, this car, I'd like to show you this 36. I, I love that car. Yeah, this car was bought during Ford's 100th year anniversary. A Ford executive restored it, and he restored it to its original. And so I brought it home, and I loved the, the originality of it but I didn't like the way it drove. Well, it drove like a 36. It drove, yeah, no brakes either. No, well, and no another. headlights. Hmm. So what I did is I put a 12 volt system in it. Uh, we rebuilt the engine, developed about 175 horsepower. It's got a C4 automatic transmission. Oh, that, but, but it sure doesn't look like it. No, that's, no, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I like that. No, and it runs, its sweet spot is about 65. Oh, it likes that. Huh? It likes 65, mm -hmm. yeah. It'll get to 70, but you know, it pushes a little bit of 70. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not, I love the two-tone and the gold uh, pinstripe setting off. It's even a subtle two-tone with this deep maroon Very, and the black. Yeah. Really yeah. nice. So you've mildly souped up yeah. this, but still with a stock engine. That 57 over the there 57. is mighty pretty. Let's go check that the, out. The 57 was bought oh, um, around 10 years ago. Okay. And it was, it was called a survivor car. The car was originally red. Oh. Now, when you buy a 57 uh -huh. red convertible, why would you ever you want ever to change, change the color? It to white. <laughs> except, except it wanted to be white. Oh, okay, wow. Well. It's just the car wanted to be white. So I, when I brought it back here, I, 
I painted it white. We put uh, rack and pinion steering on it. It's got four, four way or four wheel disc brakes. Oh, so she and runs it's got like a great a new engine. Car. It's, it's a fabulous car. It's actually my favorite car. Probably, probably fuel injected. Fuel so injected. Doesn't mind the mountains. No, you know, it doesn't mind. You know, this car just goes and goes. Well, and such fabulous a beautiful, car. you know, stock interior too. I mean, it looks it's it's a, it looks stock. It's got power windows, air conditioning, steering brakes. You know, wonderful car to drive. Oh, I, I bet it, it is, yeah. <laughs> especially yeah. with the, uh, the the injected 350. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have 257s. The other one's original, and they both are great cars to drive. But this drives. Yeah, has, yeah, 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 yeah. This is a five star. This is five, five star. star. Five yeah. star drive drivability yeah. rating. Right. <laughs> well, here's the gold one too. That's the original car with factory air. Oh, nice. That car was bought just like that. Uh, I, I, I must admit, I repainted because it had a few scratches on it. But the car's all original with 70,000 actual miles. Factory air, power glide, uh, power pack, and yeah, and all original interior. Nothing's been changed. And dual uh, dual rear antennas. Dual I rear just antennas. Love, I love yeah. That. And the skirts. Yeah. I mean, this is an American icon. The, the American, yeah. show, it's an American icon. <laughs> Absolutely. You, you just got you got everything. I mean, we've looked at these. You got you got a half dozen Mustangs back there. There's right. a Cougars, uh, uh, Rancheros. Uh, <laughs> you got everything. But you've also got some. Really pretty insane custom. I do. I the, do. The, the other J. The other J. The guy that gets up at 2 o'clock in the morning and has these weird dreams about these cars. <laughs> Let's go meet that guy. Let's go see that <laughs> All guy. All right. <laughs> <laughs>Yeah, Jay. This this is what I'm talking about. Right. This is custom land here. Let's start with this. Let's start with your 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 Ranchero. 65 yes. Ranchero. 65 Ranchero. I knew the car was talking to me. It didn't <laughs> want to stay the way it was. It wanted to get a little bit more macho. Well, it did. It yeah. really did. So, and you guys built this in your shop, right? We built this in our shop. So, and yeah. cuz it's it's a pretty spacey design. Did you, who designed it actually? Well, you know, it's kind of like designed by day. Okay. Well, you know, that we, looks good today. <laughs> and then if we don't like it, we'll change it tomorrow. <gasps> Wait, and what's it running for an engine? It's got a motorsport uh, crate Ford engine in oh, it. Oh, nice. So she gets down the road pretty nice, it gets, it gets. Yeah, it's a fantastic car to drive. I rate it as five star. Oh, it's a five star. It's a five star drivability. Oh. So it's not only five star lookability; it's five star drivability. <laughs> wow, that, that says a lot. I, and she's real pretty. I love the color scheme Thank and everything. You. It's got a, little, a lot of pearl in that bottom that that picks up yes. the blue. Yes. You know. Beautiful and it car. gotta look wild going down road. But speaking of something that looks wild going down road, and what yes, I really sir. came out here to see yes, sir. is this. My Studebaker. <laughs> <Your> Studebaker. <laughs> yeah. Studebaker I, on steroids. It's, that is exactly what this is. Now. I, I like Studebakers. I've, I've always liked them. I don't think I've ever seen a Silverhawk hot rodded mm -hmm. like this. To be honest with you, I bought it this way. Really? Yeah, I made some mo modifications on it, but essentially the car was built before I ever bought it. It went through a Barrett uh, Jackson auction, and I just, I somehow or other, I was compelled to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, these are, <laughs> I don't these know are funny was. cars. <laughs> and these are cars, you, you kind of either love them or you hate them. Yeah. I love them, and, and you gotta, you gotta admit, Nothing looks like this. That's right, and and luckily I was in a small group of people. It was early in the morning. Then they didn't like it. Oh, so, so it I, was yours. That's right. <laughs> it was mine from the beginning at a popular price. At a popular price. <laughs> that's yes. well, that's great. You know, because uh. really, the body hasn't been modified too much. No. I mean, you still got the fins, yes. which are actually what fiberglass bolt-ons. Fiberglass yeah. bol from the factory. From the factory, right. absolutely. But these aren't original these peaks that's true what, what we did is when we bought when we bought the cars i saw it kind of look wimpy you know because kind of drops down so it, i it, wanted to put this on there make it straight and, and it did change the the silhouette of the car a lot oh yeah to really reflect the kind of car it really is under it uh dennis it's all corvette and oh, it, oh. It, it's got a tubular <laughs> custom tubular frame and it's got a c4 suspension both front and rear and a corvette engine so it's studebaker in body only yeah, in body, <laughs> yes, yes, clothed as a Studebaker. Clo yeah, right, so it's, 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 it's a, uh, a Corvette wrapped in Studebaker clothing. Exactly, exactly. So, so did you buy it in this two-tone? No, I no, I two-tone. It was oh, it yeah. was a little bit too much bronze. Yeah, yeah. So I put a little silver on it. You accentuate the scoop by doing right, that. You know, right. it it, uh, it it doesn't make this chrome scoop look so lonely up there. Because now she goes all the way back up over the top up, and the trunk. Yeah, and, and down, the trunk, out, yeah. down the back. And it made a big difference. I mean, just the car. Yeah, yeah. And we did a few other things to it, but essentially, the car was the way you see it now is essentially the way I bought it. Well, and so again, I, I mean, can't it's, take credit for it. It's Studebaker up here. It's I mean, this, all, yeah. I mean, this is a that's a stock yeah. bumper, a stock grill. It's everything. And it's the uh, solid uh, grill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's some weight there. There really is. Yeah. 
But she's beautiful, and now she's also sporting you know four wheel discs and everything. Four wheel dress. It's got four way uh, four wheel disc brakes, power steering. It's got all all amenities, including all, air and all the goodies. All the goodies, yeah. But you know the interior is stunning yeah. in this. There's somebody spent some money on this interior. Yeah. Let it, me tell you, the the interior is very unique in that all of it is leather, yeah. including the headliner and the uh, dash. There's nothing Studebaker about the dash. You know, it's, real, it's more it's, like a Corvette. It's like Corvette. I mm -hmm. get, uh, yeah, I get a real Corvette feel on yeah, it. Yeah. The fellow that did this, uh, they, I understand, spend, you know, like forty thousand dollars just I for mean, the interior. interior. Holy cow! It's amazing, and it's yeah. and everything's leather. See, everything's leather. The dash, the headliner, the floor, the floor. Yeah. <laughs> it's all <laughs> the it's all leather. leather. Everything's, everything's leather. Yeah. leather. Wow, tilt column. I mean, and it, it just, it, it's really inviting looking too. Yeah, and it's a fun car to drive. Oh, it's an right. absolute fun car to drive. Well, you know, and these, uh, these fins, you know, Studebaker had to do everything on a budget. Yeah. You know, and they were fighting the big three and everything. So this is really the same car as the low E coupe, I think. You no, know, it is. And they just put these, these were slapped down here. They were fiberglass, factory fiberglass. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And then you took your silver it, all the It way was down? like in 1957, who was going to have the wilder fins? And I think Studebaker won that contest. <laughs> well, they were sure competing. <laughs> as far as fins are concerned, I don't think they had any better, any any wilder fins than it, No, it's did. definitely wild. And then the way the tail lights are treated, you know, now flush mounted and the yeah. lens is right there, yeah. but still with a stock Studi bumper. Exactly. Wow. This, this cool. thing is, is wild. But like you say, it isn't Studebaker underneath nor under the hood. Yeah. Let's go look at the engine. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's do check it. it out. Let's take <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, and the front end does tricks too. Yeah, <laughs> Man, this is the the actual metal here too. This is a heavy. Actually, my, yeah, actual that had metal. That be reinforced to be able to do this. Reinforced, right? Must be quite a motor too that brings that thing up and down. Woo. Yeah, it's a Chevrolet LT1 engine. So we so we got a, an LT1 in here. LT1, yeah. At this altitude, it develops 370 horsepower. To the rear wheels. Yeah, to the rear wheels. <laughs> at 2500 RPM. So it's a pretty healthy engine. Pretty healthy, and that's yeah. a it's a crazy injection setup. Yeah, uh, the name of it, the guy who developed it is called Kinsler. Kinsler, Kinsler injection, Kinsler injection system. So she's pretty healthy. Yes, sir. Pretty pretty healthy. It, 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 it's, it's a beautiful <laughs> car to drive, and um, from a performance standpoint, it, it uh, I would rate that this as an A. Wow, wow. Performance wise. Wow. Well, well, quite a frame, too. I mean, there's so much work in this car. I just can't believe yeah. what. The frame, Dennis, is a tubular frame. Uh -huh. It was customized for this car. It wasn't anything you, you bought from, you know, from they a They built from, it for this project. They built it for this car. And then and then they mounted a uh, C4 Chevrolet suspension, both front and rear, to it. And then I think then that's when they dropped the Studebaker body on it. <sighs> wow. So, so. It must, this really must be a blast to drive. It's a fabulous car to drive. Wow. I'd like you to have an opportunity to drive. You know, I was really hoping you were going to say <laughs> something like that. So I'm, I'm so glad to hear you say yeah. that. Yeah. Well, let's, you know, let's, uh, let's just put this back together and do that. Okay. All right, let's, let's do, do it. Let's do it. So Jay, this, this is an amazing car. I, you, you know, I like Studebakers. I've, I've always thought they were interesting cars. Right. And not, Nothing looks quite like a Silver Hawk, 57 Silver Hawk. Yeah. And nothing quite looks like this, 57 no. Silver Hawk. <laughs> well, you know, from the exterior, it, it looks like a 57 Hawk. Now, I did some modification on it, but not a lot, some. But what's under the car really makes the difference. But, but wait, let me tell and, you. And the interior. Yeah. And driving it, you can tell that difference. This thing handles like a brand new car. Yes. It's got tons of power. Steers beautifully. And I love the sound, don't oh, you? I just love the sound. I can't get enough of it. I cannot get enough of that sound. <laughs> oh, there's a lot more there. There's, good, yeah. there's a lot more there. <laughs> and it's it's just so unique. Are people drawn to it? it you know, it's, it's, it's really amazing. I could set this car next to one of my custom Mustangs yeah. or the Chevy. This will win every time. Really? Every time. Do people even know what it is? A lot of people don't. Studebaker, is it, what, what country was it built in? It was built in this country. Matter of fact, Indiana. In Indiana, for God's sake. <laughs> and it's so compact. You Notice one thing about a Studebaker? You could yeah. only seat two people. Yeah. It was designed for two. 
Now, the, even in the 50s, cars were wider. You could put three of them. Not in this car. Yeah, it's close quarters. So, so if, you, if you're if you romantic like I am... <laughs> it was a perfect car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you Italians. <laughs> <laughs> so, do, I mean, do you, you take this out? You drive it? Oh, I, yeah, this is one of my favorites. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you actually rate the drivability of your cars. Yeah, oh, I love, yeah. And yeah, this is a? This is a five-star. This is a five-star yeah. drivability. Now, five-star is max. Uh-huh. <laughs> In the J. Chimino rating system. In our rating system, <laughs> yes. And I've got some great looking cars that are rated less than that, like the Mustang is rated three-star. It looks good, but it's not that much fun behind yeah, the wheel. That's exactly right. This one's fun behind the wheel, let me tell you. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dennis, go, go, go. I'm still, I'm just, I'm still granny in the see, throttle. See, that brings you back to 18. Oh, man. <laughs> you can get in trouble in this thing, man. <laughs> so until our next meeting, remember, honor the timeless classics. I'm Dennis Gage. Happy motoring.